and in-depth exploration. Hair growth is a fascinating biological process that reflects the complexity of human physiology. It involves intricate interactions between genetics, hormones, nutrition, and environmental factors. Hair serves several roles, including protection, temperature regulation, and social or cultural expression. This detailed exploration will delve into the anatomy of hair, the growth cycle, factors influencing hair growth, and approaches to enhance or manage hair health. Anatomy of hair. Hair is a keratinous filament that grows from follicles in the dermis, the skin's middle layer. While hair may appear simple, it comprises three main layers. Medulla, the innermost core of the hair shaft, present only in thicker hairs. It contributes to hair's elasticity and resilience. Cortex, surrounding the medulla, the cortex makes up most of the hair's mass. It contains keratin and melanin, the pigments responsible for hair color. Cuticle, the outermost layer formed of overlapping keratin scales. The cuticle protects the inner layers and reflects light, contributing to hair's shine. Each hair strand grows from a follicle, a specialized structure that anchors the hair and supports its growth. The follicle consists of papilla, a small structure at the follicle base containing blood vessels that nourish the hair and deliver growth signals. Matrix, a region around the papilla where active cell division occurs, forming the hair shaft. Sebaceous gland produces sebum, an oily substance that lubricates the hair and scalp. The hair growth cycle. Hair grows in a cyclical pattern consisting of three main phases. Anagen, growth phase, lasts two to seven years, depending on genetics and location on the body. About 85 to 90% of hair is in this phase at any given time. Cells in the hair matrix divide rapidly, pushing the shaft upward and lengthening the strand. Catagen, transition phase, lasts two to three weeks. Hair growth stops and the follicle shrinks, detaching from the blood supply. Telogen, resting phase, lasts two to four months. Hair remains in place but is no longer growing. At the end of this phase, the hair sheds and the follicle re-enters the anagen phase. Factors influencing hair growth, genetics, determines the length of the anagen phase and the overall hair density. Hereditary conditions like androgenetic alopecia can affect hair growth patterns. Hormones, hormonal changes during puberty, pregnancy, or menopause can alter hair growth. Androgens, e.g. testosterone, can shorten the growth phase, leading to thinning or balding. Nutrition, hair requires specific nutrients, including protein, biotin, zinc, iron, and omega-3 fatty acids. Deficiencies can lead to brittle hair, thinning, or increased shedding. Age. Hair growth slows with age as the anagen phase shortens and follicles shrink. Graying and textural changes are common in aging hair. Environmental factors. Pollution, UV radiation, and harsh weather can damage the cuticle and impair growth. Chemical treatments like coloring or straightening may exacerbate damage. Stress. Acute or chronic stress can induce telogen effluvium, a condition where a higher percentage of hair enters the shedding phase prematurely. Enhancing hair growth, diet, and nutrition. Proteins. Hair is primarily made of keratin, a protein. Adequate protein intake is essential for robust hair growth. Vitamins and minerals. Biotin, vitamin B7, supports keratin production. Vitamin D, stimulates hair follicles and prevents shedding. Iron and zinc, aid cell production and repair. Hair care practices. Use mild shampoos and conditioners tailored to your hair type. Avoid overwashing, which can strip natural oils. Minimize heat styling and chemical treatments. Scalp health. Regular scalp massages improve blood circulation, delivering nutrients to hair follicles. Use oils like coconut argan or castor oil to moisturize and nourish the scalp. Medical treatments. Minoxidil, a topical medication that prolongs the antigen phase. Finasteride, an oral drug that inhibits the production of DHT, a hormone linked to hair loss. Platelet-rich plasma, PRP, therapy uses concentrated platelets to stimulate growth. Natural remedies, aloe vera, onion juice, and rosemary oil have been traditionally used to boost growth and improve hair quality. These remedies can complement professional treatments, but may not work for everyone. Common hair growth issues, hair loss, alopecia, can result from genetics, hormonal imbalances, autoimmune conditions, or trauma. Types include androgenetic alopecia, alopecia areata, and telogen effluvium. Slow growth, often linked to nutritional deficiencies or underlying medical conditions. Thinning hair may be caused by stress, hormonal changes, or excessive styling damage. Advanced research and emerging treatments.
Stem cell therapy. Researchers are exploring stem cells' potential to regenerate hair follicles. Hair cloning involves creating hair follicle cells in a lab and implanting them into the scalp. Gene editing. Techniques like CRISPR could address genetic causes of hair loss in the future. Nanotechnology. Nano delivery systems for drugs and nutrients could enhance hair growth treatment's efficacy. Psychological and cultural aspects of hair. Hair plays a significant role in identity and self-expression. Its growth, styling, or loss can profoundly impact self-esteem. Cultures worldwide imbue hair with symbolic meanings, ranging from status and spirituality to rebellion and conformity. Recognizing the emotional dimensions of hair care is crucial in addressing concerns about growth and loss. Hair growth is influenced by an interplay of biological, environmental, and lifestyle factors. While genetics set the foundation, proper care and nutrition can optimize growth and maintain hair health. Advances in science hold promise for innovative treatments, offering hope for those experiencing hair loss or slow growth. Whether for aesthetic, cultural, or psychological reasons, understanding hair growth is key to embracing and enhancing this vital aspect of human biology.